Hello, in this video we will see how we can configure our data factory with a git repository. So let's get started. So firstly you need to have a you know account in git. It may be git uh, hub or it may be azure devops git. So both are only uh, feasible with azure data factory. If we talk about gitlab and other repositories these are not feasible or compatible. So let's see we in this video like we will be using github. Uh, for linking our data factory with the repository so let me just create a new repository in github so i'm just giving azure demo as a repository name and let me create it as a private repository so i am creating a new repository and then i will also link it with the data factory now once you have created a repository uh, it will give you some link the link so you need to copy it now second thing is it should have at least one file uh, if you want to link it with the data factory so what i will do is i will upload a readme file it can be any file right i'm just uploading a readme file so that uh, like i am able to you know use this repository so this is my repository containing one file called readme.md now i will go to my data factory what i will do is i will go to manage and then there is something called git configuration i will click on it i will click on configure and then i will select repository type it should be either azure devops git or it can be github if there is something like gitlab and other you need to do it manually you need to download the file then you need to commit manually uh, for uh, you know it's an advantage if you are using github or azure devops in your project right it is very compatible now i'm using github so i will click on it now uh, they will ask for the github repository owner now if i go to this i they are telling also the owner name should be the last words of the uh, contoso after contoso the c now this is my uh, account so they are asking for this name so which is subjivan287 i will copy it i will go to my uh, data factory i will paste it here i will click on continue and now what I will do is uh, I will select a repository so just see my repository will come uh, maybe they didn't ask me for the you know password but they may ask for the password of your github so you need to enter your password now what we need to do is I need to select which repository is mine which I want to use I want to use azure demo so I will click on it now they are asking for collaboration branch where your data factory objects will be stored so i haven't i have no one so uh, basically i have main i don't want to do it in main i'll create a new one so what i will do is i will say adf uh, data something like that i'll create a branch new branch of the repository and now what i will do is i'll click on apply as soon as we click on apply so let's wait mm. let's wait for it so what will happen is as soon as uh, we click on apply all the you know uh, or data factory object whether it's data set your data flows your link service your integration runtime everything uh, in the form of json file will be stored in your branch so i'll click on save once so you can see in this branch everything is present now let me even show you so the, the brand name is adf data branch and now let if i go here if i just go to the branch so let me just go to zero demo and now what will happen is okay so let me just show you the branch there are three branches so my branch name is what adf data branch so i'll go to adf data branch this is the one and you can see all the data set data factory link service everything is here you know uh, this concept is very useful for version control system let's say developer one two three are you know um, working on data factory so they, we can create a new branch you know uh, we can clone this branch main branch we can you know create a new branch we can do some modification and then obviously we can merge these things into a main branch so this is how uh, all the version control system we can handle uh, the limitation here is it is only compatible with Azure DevOps or GitHub, not with GitLab and other uh, repositories, right? So that's it. 
I hope you find this video useful. If you're new to my channel, subscribe it. Thank you.